a Wednesday. So Wednesdays. Wednesdays is a day that I love. I really do. I really love Wednesdays. Now, for most people, Wednesdays are just a day. Middle of the week kind of day. It's like, all right, we're at the hump day. Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! That's what they get most excited about. They're that much closer just to being on the weekend, which I get. I'm always going to enjoy the weekend. The weekend is hard. I don't have to go to work. I just get to play with my kids and have a good time. But on Wednesdays, Wednesdays is my day. My day to enjoy the small things in life, which is new comic book day. Now, yes, DC did throw a little wrench in that mix when they added in Tuesday as their new comic book day. Thank you, pandemic. But... Wednesdays will always be the day for me to pick up my new books. It makes it a little special. It gives me that little bit of bright little hope where I get to get up, get to Wednesdays, go to the store, and pick up those new books. I hope you guys enjoy Wednesdays, Wednesdays as well. If you guys are new and you're not picking up comic books yet, make this your excuse to make Wednesdays special for you. Go down to your local comic book store, pick up some books, and just have a great Wednesday. Babe, yes. it's Wednesday. Hump day. No. Comic book day. Well, guys, we are back with our haul in vlog video. It's been like, what, three weeks since we did one of these? Such an exaggerator. It's, it's been like two or three weeks. Days. Like, you know, I know you guys miss it. I know you guys <laughs> want us to bring you these each and every week. We got a pretty big haul this week. There was 25 books in total, but it's not 25 individual books. But we got some of the stuff in here. I'm really excited. Sadly, I am still, I think, three weeks behind on books at this point. So a lot of this stuff I'm not gonna get to right away, but we are excited to share it with you. Are you excited? I am excited. I actually looked through the pile before Bruce started the video and there was a lot of things I'm very excited to read so because she is reading so many more comics which is so exciting for me and for you guys because you guys get to her, get her opinion on these books which is so great so so great I still I'm not reading any Marvel or DC except for Deceased that's the only one I'll read <laughs> I'll get her to read more don't you guys worry don't you guys worry but what do you guys want to start with Marvel DC or we should go like Marvel and then over all right so first book up is uh, this is Venom number 29. This is the Fortnite variant. Um, why did I get that? Chuck put it in my thing and I was just, I was kind of in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, so there's that one. And then there's Venom number 29. I think that's cover A. And then we have 29 cover B, which I think is the preferred cover. That's the um, Ryan Stegman variant. So uh, Borican, I saw what you posted on Instagram and you already you're probably uh, saying what I'm going to think, which is the book is not very good. This is, what is X-Men, sorry. X of Swords. X-Men number 13, the X of Swords tie-in. Um, I we, we all know how I feel about X of Swords. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I think I'm one issue behind on this, I think. I don't know. My, my box is completely full. And I have a pile below the box. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, Juggernaut number two. For good things about Juggernaut, so I'm excited to read about he says that. I read number one that's sitting upstairs. No, oh. it, it's in the to do pile, guys. The to do pile. I did read Iron Man number one, and it was decent. Um, Ryan Cantwell, I believe, is his name. The writer. I didn't get into it. Bruce is like, it's new Iron Man. They did so terribly with Iron Man, and you got to read it. I was like, <clears throat> she's so negative about all. Uh, I wish you guys could see Frank right now, who's <laughs> desperately trying to get up on this little chair over here, which is really, really funny. If you hear any snorting, that's the that's Frank the Bulldog. It sounds like he's a pig. In the um, <laughs> but Iron Man was pretty good, so I'm excited to get into that. We have uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number seven. This is the Al Ewing run. Um, I'm only one issue behind on that, so that's two issues behind at this point. Um, will he ever read it? I will. Well, I read everything. I just need to get something in a little bit of there lull. There is stuff in that box from months ago. Um, the Months kids go back to school full time in like three weeks. So that's a lot more time for me. Daredevil number 23. Again, I am behind one issue on this. I'm excited for that because that is just an awesome Chip Zdarsky run. Um, I'm all caught up on this. Spider-Woman is not very good. Um, <laughs> Colin Book Poser loves it. Uh, shout out to you, Poser. And Stephanie likes it. I think it's pretty bad. But we're picking it up because um, everyone on Twitter said that this is a good run. People are enjoying it. Everyone but Bruce. Bruce is really it's hating so it. It's so bad. 
I didn't like the third issue. The fourth, fourth ish. issue was okay. Oh, right, yeah, that's what you it said. It came back. It came back around. It's bad. It's so bad. Uh, but we did pick up the Scotty Young variant for this book because I was I don't know it's Scotty Young and that is so adorable and I love it. So I picked that up on a whim. Uh, but yeah, that's all of our Marvel books. Now we're moving into DC. Uh, very little DC this week. Um, we have Batman 101. Um, but we can also get this like a week early, which is pretty freaking crazy. Uh, but he said it was kind of just kind of like a filler issue, it felt like, because the Joker Four War ended. Batman is off of it now, right? For a few issues, yeah, and then he'll come back in a little bit. Uh, but basically, it was still Tinian, or Tinian. Um, but it just like, you know, the big, the Joker War wrapped up last week, and now it's just kind of like, you know, Picking at the pieces, I guess you could say. All right. Um, this next book I am super excited about. This is Harley Quinn of the White Knight universe, and it's her own book. Um, it's written by uh, Kat Katana. Katana. Katana Collins and Sean Murphy, and art by Matteo Scalera. 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 Uh, I look. I flipped through this. This looks incredible. We got cover. I think that's cover B, and this is cover A. Cover B. One or the other. They're both gorgeous, so I had to pick them up. Um, and this next book, um, there's a lot of buzz around this book. Everyone says this is really, really good. It has one of my favorite artists on it, um, Riley Rossimo. Um, this is Robin King of the Dark Knight's Death Metal. Um, How I are did, they still making Death Metal books? Um, she hasn't read it, so she can't judge. Um, I can judge, and I do judge. Uh, this is, it's a really great story so far. Every single um, tie-in has been absolutely great, so I'm excited to read this. And Riley um, Rossimo, if you haven't seen his artwork, it's incredible it's so so gorgeous um yeah so i'm really excited to read this book i will probably skip a lot of the books that are in my box and things that are in front of it and um, read this because it, i'm that excited about it all right now for the indies so stephanie can actually say something positive about a comic book because she's been very negative this video so far and i truthful. don't like it i prefer very truthful so not far. truthful at all uh <laughs> big girls number three this book has been Excellent, guys. If you're not picking up Big Girls, you definitely should give it a shot because it's a really fun story with monsters and big people uh, and big yeah. people <laughs> instead of us little people. It's 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 really it actually is a good story. I will say positive things about this. She started off with a negative and now she's coming with a positive. But you know, it's really really, really like good. Indie books and all the other books are garbage. I can't help that. I don't make it so. Uh, but Big Girls number three, definitely pick this up. Um, and next up on the list is Family Tree number nine, guys. This book is you by really Jeff Lemire. It is so, so good. She can't judge again because she hasn't read it. She read, I read one the issue. issue. <sighs> Grosses me out. The trees coming out of people. There's no bodies. more trees coming out of people. It's just a I'm book just now. skip now to issue 1100. No, it's been, no one's been coming out of a tree for four issues now. So... Yeah, I'll skip Suck five it. issues. Suck it. Uh, Miles to go, number two. I have not read this. Stephanie, I read the first one. Stephanie read it and she enjoyed it. So I did. I'm going to check it out at some point. It's on There's the. There's a bunch of really good indies coming out, guys. You guys should be reading them. Um, this, a lot of people are buzzing about. This is The Scumbag, number one. I believe this is Image Comics. A lot of people are excited about it, so I picked it up. Kind of looks like Matthew McConaughey. I, I would, yeah, I would say that when he's all, he's skinny and all. Um, there was that McConaughey-esque. Yeah. He did a movie recently where he was a writer and he's all whacked out on drugs and stuff. Kind of looked like that. Um, I didn't see what she put up, so... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number 109, number I believe. Number 109. Bruce Cover has read a. none of them, but we own 400 of them. Uh, she's being very exaggeratory. Um, I have 102 through 109. I've read 102 and 103, so I'm a little behind, but I will get caught up. I don't believe that. Um, I feel this, like there's at least 500 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles upstairs. There is seven. Uh, there is, this next one is You Look Like Death, Tales from the Umbrella Academy. Um, also, I didn't realize it was from Umbrella Academy. Uh, so this, uh, neither of us had read the first issue. This is book number two. Um, and yeah, we really enjoy the Umbrella Academy, so we picked this up. Um, Still Water, number two, Chip Zdarsky. Really fun story. The art was really good in this book. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. Yeah, I read this uh, last time it came out when it came out the same week as The Autumnal, and everyone was all hyped about The Autumnal, and I was like, yes, I can't wait to read it. Autumnal. And I read The Autumnal, and I read Still Water. Still Water was better. It was so much better. Such a better book and a better story. And You can tell it was just... Uh, it seemed like um, Chip Zdarsky is a much more seasoned 
uh, writer than the other person. I don't, off the top of my head, I'll put it like maybe down here or something. Uh, the writer of Tumble, Tumble is a good book. We will be continuing to pick that up. It just, it just didn't have the depth, I would say, that um, Stillwater had. Stillwater is better. Um, next up is our favorite ongoing book right now, which is Something is Killing the Children, number 11. Oh we my God, Werther Dothera did a post on Instagram about some other comic book store that also, it was like a repost that he did from this comic book store that was like, do you have every cover of Something is Killing the Children? And they had every single variant from one to, what are we up to 12 now? Oh, like man. 11 of every, like just laid out on the floor. They just like videotaped it, like going through one by one of every cover that's For ever sale covered. or? Nope, just making me hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of those covers are going for crazy money. Even the- They had two cover A's of issue one. Oh, jelly. We'll get that we'll get that cover A at some point. One day. Or it probably when it's a gazillion dollars. But anyway, this cover is super cool. Yes. Guys, I don't know if I think I forgot to ever post it on um, Instagram, but Bruce did get me this face mask for my birthday and I wear it whenever I can. Uh, so, I get a lot of weird looks when I'm in the grocery store with my Erica Slaughter face mask. <laughs> uh, so this is just the cover B, um, Jenny Frizen. This is not a one in twenty five. I think the one in twenty five is the black and white version. Um, I saw Hero and the Kid did get the one in twenty five version. Jelly again, but uh, I had to get this. I, there's more copies at the store. Um, if I go back this weekend, I will probably get another. Um, Skull Digger and Skeleton Boy. Was it number five? Number five. Uh, I am three issues behind on this, but it's Jeff Lemire again. Um, forgot what universe it is, but it's a it's a it's a really good book. I'm just behind like I am on so many other things. And I think this is the last book. Yes, the last book of our haul this week is Shadow Service, number three, and I'm all caught up. I read the second one on Sunday. I believe I read both. Did I read both? I don't know. It's, it's really- the one where she's like a magician. Yes, magician, um, private, private like, eye. Like sucked into some world where this guy who's like, you're a magician and we need your magician powers. Magician it up over here. Well, they, they capture her because they, you're sp everyone that's a magician is basically tagged and you ha and like you need to be known to the universe. And she's an anomaly. And she's the service, is, the service is like, you are now um, work for us. If you don't, you're screwed. And then so she escapes somehow, and she's on the run, and they catch her at the end of issue two. So we have to see what's going on. I feel like I'm caught up. At least I read for one of them. She Make thinks sure. she did. Well, hopefully Stephanie's a little more positive next week, guys. Because I will always be poo-pooing on Marvel and DC until they come she out has no new right. characters. She has no right. It's the same characters every single time for <sighs> new characters. She has no right. You guys know that there's great Marvel and DC books, just like I do. She just has a stick up her butt that she won't remove. She won't let the DC and Marvel in. But guys, that's the haul and vlog video. Do we have any updates to give these guys? Is there anything that we need to fill them in on? DC and Marvel still suck. Uh, we'll end the month giveaway is two weeks away, guys. The uh, person that we are um, showcasing is Joe Donahue. We'll be doing posts throughout the week. Um, he has a bunch of three-page comics that you guys can read online for free um, right now. So we'll drop those throughout the week and get yourself hyped because he's a great writer. Um, and he's just a guy who's looking looking to get it made, make it big. Like and he's going to come on our live stream on the last Friday of this month, October 30th, the day before Halloween. The day before. Halloween Spooky. Eve. Spooky. Okay. And he's going to drink with us. Can he keep up? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Anything else? Um, Bruce loves you. I love you. I she, like you. She kind of maybe is tolerates you. I, like, you're okay, but like, I wouldn't recommend you to a friend. <sighs> But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit that bell notific for notifications so when we upload new videos, you're notified. And also when we go live, you're notified. And you can watch Bruce's four-year-old video, which was pretty awesome. Bruce is really upping his videography skills. Oh, thanks, babe. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it for you guys. And the last thing that you guys need to do before you sign off for this video is... Smash that like button. Do it now. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.